I'm a pretty big wuss when it comes to horror movies, so I typically avoid this genre as much as possible. Um, I know there's a lot of great films in this genre, so I'm trying to be brave and branch out and watch some of them. And one of the sections of that genre is foreign horror films, which I have not seen a ton of at all. So today I'm going to watch the 2003 film Old Boy. I've heard it's one of those ones everybody should watch. Um, I don't know anything about the plot, the cast, the director. Um, again, with it being a foreign film, I'm especially out of the loop because I haven't seen that many foreign films, unfortunately. It's definitely something I want to explore. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you're ever curious about what kind of gear I use or what's on the bookshelf, I've included a link in the description. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Okay. What is he? He's holding this guy over a building by his tie? Well, he's holding a pup? I don't know what's wrong Okay, so he got into a, I'm guessing this is a flashback. He got into a fight or something. Yeah, he's drunk. Daesu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's his name. Oh, it's his daughter's birthday? Oh. And he got her a pair of, like, wings. So cute. Daesu means getting through one day at a time. Okay. Oh, mine. I was trying to get his clothes off. Okay. It feels very like doc style, like there's lots of just random cuts and then yeah, I'm really enjoying the, the cinematography so far. Okay, someone's coming to pick him up, he's got his shirt tied in a little knot, oh god. Where did he go? What? What happened? The camera like spun around and we didn't see him in the frame for a second and now he's gone? It's interesting because I'm assuming Dae Su is our main character and we don't really know anything about him and something has already happened to him basically. Like we just met him, all we know is he got drunk, is this something he does often, it was this a one time thing, we know he has a family and now yeah he's just... It disappeared, so I'm very curious where this is gonna go. And I didn't tell him why he's there, they just kidnapped him? Okay, but they're obviously keeping him alive. They're feeding him, they obviously want him to... Like, if they wanted to kill him, they could have done that a lot sooner than two months later. I saw your face, you're dead when I get out. Okay, so maybe it'll be like a revenge story? If they told me it'd been 15 years? He's gonna be stuck in there for 15 years? What? Yeah, and he's like, would it have been harder or easier to know that eventually it'll end or harder to know that you have to sit through 15 years? Oh my gosh, what? When the music begins, gas is released. Okay, so they're gassing them to keep them subdued? He's already locked up, why do you need to gas him? I don't understand. They gas him so they can cut his hair? <gasps> his wife died? Someone killed his wife? And he's been here a year now. He said his wife, his husband was a heavy drinker and caught, fought constantly with his wife. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, now there's bugs coming out of his skin. Oh, oh. When they took his blood, they put it at his wife's crime scene. And the fingerprints from his glass. The only missing item was the family album. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's been framed for his wife's murder, obviously. Oh my goodness, what mind games is this? He's just stuck in one room. 
all you have is TV, which I mean, at least you have TV, it'd be better than nothing, but jeez. Oh, God. He's having some alone time, the TV. I wrote a list of all the people I've offended and hurt. Okay. He's wondering who would have done this to him. He got three chopsticks. So the guy in the next room probably only got one. There's more of them? That's gonna be one heck of a revenge. Okay, he's keeping his chopsticks to try and dig his way out. This is crazy! Nine years. He's been stuck in this room for nine years, just watching the world off television. Ten years. What the heck, man? He pissed off some very powerful people. So yeah, his motive is now switched to I need to get out and seek revenge on whoever's doing this to me, basically. For the entire time we've known this character, basically, he's been, oh, he reached the outside, oh, rain! Oh my gosh, that would probably be the best feeling in the world. <laughs> and at least he's on an outside wall. Okay, he escapes in one month. How would you even go back into the regular world? What should I eat first? Oh, your first meal! Uh, anything but fried dumplings. I feel like that's what he's been having this whole time. They're hypnotizing him? Okay, so they did let him out? They like dumped him in a suitcase? What? After all that time, why are they letting him out now? Yeah, I think it would, A, it would be very strange to see another person, and also you'd have such a hard time adjusting to sunlight, I think. I think I'd be going more for the puppy than this strange person. I'm no better than a beast? Is this guy there, like, just by coincidence, or is he actually with the organization that kidnapped him? And now, what is he supposed to do? Oh no, that guy jumped. So he's just gonna go on a revenge rampage now, I'm guessing, and... What about his daughter? Yeah, everybody thinks he killed his wife, so he can't really go home. Um, okay. Nothing suspicious about this. Don't ask any questions, I don't know anything. He looks like, he doesn't have any shoes, also, he doesn't look like, or he looks like he was also in one of those rooms, and they just handed him a wallet full of cash and a phone. What the frick, man? I'm a scholar? And the field of study is you? Yeah, I'm studying Desu. Whether it be a grain of sand or a rock, in water they both sink alike. So clearly they know where he is and they're tracking him somehow. It's alive? He's eating a live octopus while it's still alive. It's like tentacles are wrapping around his hand and going up his nose. It's trying to fight back. And he just bit a head off a live octopus. And now he just passed out. What the heck? He just ate a live octopus. It's still moving in his mouth. Can you even do that? <laughs> So his daughter went to Sweden? 
or got adopted by Swedish foster parents. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine if you had to eat the same thing for every meal for 15 years, you'd probably never want to eat it again. Okay, there was a piece of paper in one of the dumplings. So they were catering or providing food for this whatever organization was keeping them captive. Okay, so he's going to start there. Okay, so he thinks that she might be connected to this whole thing somehow. Violet Blue Dragon. Whoa, that's such a cool shot, the perspective of, hand, of his hand and everything. And the tilted angle, yeah. Okay, so we followed like the food delivery guy and Oh, that's so cool! Like the trajectory of where this is gonna go. Oh, he's got some, a weapon under the chair. Oh, the suspense of him just standing there being like, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Client confidentiality. Oh, God. So someone hired these guys to keep him prisoner for 15 years? Whoa, why that pose? What is he doing? Each tooth I extract. Oh my gosh. He's going to pull out 15 of his teeth with a hammer? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. That towel was white when they started. Do you want to talk? You just ripped all those freaking teeth out, man. <sighs> oh my god, that was disgusting. Well done, for sure. Like, it definitely made me uncomfortable. He had a lot of time to think about how he was going to torture these people. I didn't see his face. I made recordings. Okay, so it seems like this company was just hired as like a middleman to implement this torture and kidnapping and someone else is actually running the ship. I just made tapes. Who would want to, oh my God. It's such a cool shot though. This is all one shot of this whole fight sequence. Well done though. Again, this is one shot. He's got a stick in his back. There hasn't been any cuts that I can see. He's like, I'm tired, guys, I'm tired. This would take so much to like choreograph all these people in this one shot. He's like, no, if excuse me, I'll be leaving. Okay, so he found out that somebody had been making tapes of him. Oh, he's like, good, there's more of you. Good. Oh, what? They just fall over like bowling pins in the elevator. Yeah, when this vengeance is over, Kenny returned to being Daesu. That's what he said. How are they just like following him? What? So, he just like passed out in the middle of the sidewalk, obviously, from this attack. Someone just put him in a cab and gave him an address to go to and said, called him by his name. What's going on? Talks too much? Oh my goodness. She's, yeah, he's convinced that she's in on it. Because he decided to trust no one once he got out, basically. Who's evergreen? Her wallpaper looks similar to the wallpaper that he had in his room. First who and then why. It's a game.
You have until July 5th to figure it out. Five days left. If you kill yourself, or if you succeed, I'll kill myself instead of me do. I'll kill every woman you love until you die. Okay, so he, Evergreen, has a pacemaker in his heart that has a remote attached to it so he can turn his heart off at any time he wants. Yeah, if he kills him, then you won't know why you are imprisoned. Revenge or the truth, what do you want? Yeah. He left her tied up with the door open. Oh, God! This dentist is very good. He's gonna take his teeth out like he took the other guy's teeth out. There's a lot of teeth in this movie, I don't like it. Shrivel up because of their imagination. Just don't imagine anything. Oh, God, what torture. They didn't do it the first time because he's like, if you just imagined it, it wouldn't happen. How did you hold out for 15 years? Yeah, there's always a way. And their room is being gassed. Oh gosh, why let him out if you're just gonna track him the whole time? I don't get it. It's just like part of like a hunt and like a game. Like you let him out and then just stalk him and give him a limited time to figure out what's going on before you kill his lady. Yeah, so they obviously know someone was in the room, and it's a hand with the ring. Oh, yeah, they did say, like, enjoy your new clothes. So in his clothes, they put a tracking device. Yeah, there's evergreen labeled everything, so if you try and track him down, what are you gonna find? A high school alumni page? Okay. Torture? Oh. She died and they cut her face out of the yearbook? What? She died after you transferred. Oh. What? So this classmate of his drowned? Family was super rich. Is this like her brother or something? He's stabbing him with a broken CD while he's on the phone with Daesu. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm guessing that was his evergreen sister or... Yeah, my sister was, yeah, they were saying bad things about her. Oh my gosh, okay, so what does this girl drowning have to do with all of this? Hypnosis inducing drug in your water. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, so he locked up um, that girl just so he could go on this by himself and she's not in danger and then he said if I'm not back after July 5th, let her go. Was he dating her? What? Why is he just looking at girls' knees? Okay, this is a young version of him when he was in school. She's reading The Bell Jar or something by Sylvia Plath. Is he the reason she got like a bad reputation or something? Like. I'm kind of putting it a little bit together now. It seems like this brother sought him out specifically, obviously, for this vengeance, and maybe it's something to do with his sister's death. It's starting to make a little bit more sense now, but there's still a lot of questions. Yeah, and it's interesting to have like present day him chasing after the younger version of him to try and find these answers. Yeah. He's trying to take suggestive photos of her. Yeah. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, he's being a creep. <laughs> Someone saw them when they were together. That's probably how the rumors started, I'm guessing. 
Okay, so he told his friend what happened and then his friend obviously told everybody. Is that why he said he talks too much? Like a bird from the snare of the fowler. Free yourself. Okay, so he was able to figure out why he was kidnapped basically and that this girl's brother was the one who imprisoned him. And look who just walks into the elevator, of course. He slept with his sister? What? What? Oh God, oh. I started the rumors, that's why your sister died. You just forgot. Yeah, it seems like this is a pretty big life event that he just either blocked out or... Yeah, it wasn't important to him. There was a rumor that she was pregnant and then she started to have the symptoms that she was pregnant. Yeah, fathering a child, that is your nephew. And after you killed her, you realized she wasn't really pregnant. So you hated him. She died, you said she died alone in the, but who took this photo? Yeah! Oh my gosh, that shot, so cool. <laughs> what? Both of you were highly receptive to hypnosis. That's such a cool shot. Half of his face and half of Day Sun's face. Midu is programmed to react to the man who would say this. And when she touched your hand, you'd pass out. Yeah, it's not why did he imprison me, it's why did he release me. I gave him a gift of the family photo album? What? Just gave him an album of like all these photos, he's been like stalking him and like has photos of his daughter, I'm guessing. Laugh and the world laughs with you weep and you weep alone. She has the wings? Now he's gone full rage. And it's an interesting choice to hear the music and not hear the sounds of them fighting. His ear is bleeding? Oh my gosh. Is that from inside his brain or is that from... Oh, he stabbed him in the ear? What? What? He's been raising me do since she was three? What? She was a trap. Yeah, it's, it's the same box. Yeah. Don't open it. Yes. Yes. I don't think he's calling her back. Okay, so he's like, yeah, I shouldn't have said those things. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to you, and just don't hurt me, do. Or your remains will never be found, basically. I'll tear you limb from limb. Because I'm going to swallow every last bit of you, which is what he said when he was in the room. Oh gosh. Man, talk about holding on to a grudge. He's like, I'll do anything you want, just please don't hurt her. I'll be your dog if you want. I'm wagging my tail. Yeah, he went from revenge mode to please don't hurt her and now he's begging for forgiveness. And licking his boots. This guy sucks. 
What is he gonna do with those? What is he gonna do with those? <gasps> He's gonna cut off his tongue because he talks too much? Oh my god, oh my god, please don't, please don't, oh my god, please don't do it. <gasps> oh my god, he cut off his own tongue. I can't think about that. I can't think about it. Who's he gonna be able to call now? Not to say. Just leave it closed. Okay, so I guess it worked. It was worth it. They're not gonna kill her now. <laughs> Now what will I live for? Yeah, they had like parallel stories, like they were both out for revenge. Jeez. Oh, that's gonna kill both of them, won't it? Oh, that's the remote for his heart? Yeah, the only thing he had to live for was a revenge for his sister, and now he's accomplished that. I don't think it's actually going to do anything. He recorded them having their adult alone time? Oh my god, this guy is sick. He's so sick. My sister and I loved each other despite everything. Can you two do the same? Yeah, will she still love you if you have your tongue cut out? What? Oh, he did kill her. I know you've always been afraid. Just let go of me. What? She wants to fall because she's in love with her brother? This movie! Cheese and crackers. Yeah, she knew that it would they could never be together, obviously, so. <gasps> okay, well. Hypnosis may go wrong and distort your memories. Okay. Let's to undergo hypnosis again to try and erase some of those memories so he doesn't think about it. When I ring my bell, you'll split into two people? One person who doesn't know your secret. And the other person who does the monster. Okay, so they're still together and he can't talk obviously, but yeah, they seem to still make it work. So that was my first time watching the 2003 film Old Boy. There was a lot, uh, a lot to go through, a lot to process, a lot of layers. Um, it was really well done for a horror movie. I wouldn't give it like a stereotypical horror movie feel. It was definitely more of like a mystery and we're kind of instantly wondering why um, this character is being held hostage and tortured. Wondering what's going on, why is he here, um, which I think was a very clever idea to have that as like instantly telling the story. I don't know if this was based on a book or anything like that. Comment below and let me know. But we see our main character at the police station um, and then he suddenly disappears and he's stuck in this room for 15 years and then suddenly is released. So obviously lots of questions that he has that he has lots of time to think about as does the audience is to try and figure out why is he here, who's holding him hostage, what did he do, like just endless questions. And because he says such a long time to be in captivity basically, he's just planned out his revenge plan. That's his been motivation to stay alive as we also find out that his wife Wife was murdered while he was held captive um, and framed him for the murder so his motivation to get out he doesn't have a wife to go back to and also now people are going to be looking for him because he's been framed for this murder so he goes under hypnosis and when he wakes up 
he's like, okay, well, what do I do now? Like, I don't have a, I can't get a job. I don't have any money. Like, what's my plan? Basically, he doesn't really know where to start. Um, and then we kind of figure out that the people who actually released him are very much still tracking him. They put this thing in his shoe and they bring him money and a phone and they're kind of playing this like cat and mouse game where they're like, okay, we set you free. And then they give him five days to figure it out. Um, why he's been like this and why he was punished for such a long time. An interesting journey need to kind of follow the character, figure it out as the audience figures it out at the same time. I definitely wasn't anticipating this um, old boy. I didn't really know what to go off the title. At the start of the film, the only real reasoning they give for him being imprisoned is that he talks too much. So that wasn't a lot to go up, obviously. And then they kind of revealed that he had a history of being a drunk and getting into arguments with his wife. So you're like, okay, maybe did he say something to her? Did he get drunk and say something? Um, and then we find out that it was in fact an old high school classmate of his was in love with his own sister. Um, um, and our main character, Daesu, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, was spreading rumors at the school that these two, that the brother and sister were in fact in a relationship, and Daesu had his own interactions with the sister. She ended up getting this reputation and um, she thought she was pregnant at one point and uh, her body started to mimic the symptoms of being pregnant even though she actually wasn't. Daesu actually transfers to another school um, and leaves this behind and kind of just goes on with his life and I think he kind of forgets about this whole thing even happened because it was in high school, it was a long time ago. He's married with a kid now, he's not really thinking about high school too much um, but obviously this brother has been thinking thinking about this a lot and his sister actually died um, and they kind of alluded it to maybe it was the brother that did it maybe it was Daesu that did it we didn't really know and then we found out that she actually committed suicide and because she was in love with her brother and knew that it wasn't really going to be able to happen or didn't want to live a life in secret. I feel like that's where that was going to go and that's why she decided to end things. And thinking back on it now, she was reading a book by Sylvia Plath, who is an American poet who killed herself as well. But his sister's death turns out to be the catalyst for this whole revenge. He blames Daesu for this death and he thinks that she killed herself because of these rumors and that people are going to find out about them and she doesn't want that to happen, obviously, because then both of their lives will be greatly affected uh, both the brother and the sisters. I definitely noticed a parallel between Daesu and this brother because they're both out for vengeance. Uh, the brother has much more resources and money and manpower and can kind of do anything his twisted little mind wants to do. Um, and then Daesu is just kind of going about his day trying to get through life. Um, there was definitely some interesting quotes and just I think a lot of symbolism and a lot of metaphors in this film. Um, one of the quotes they had mentioned was either you're a rock or a grain of sand you sink no matter what and what I interpret that is it doesn't really matter who you are or what your intentions are uh, we all sink and we all do bad things sometimes and you know I think that was kind of a very interesting way to phrase it and I think that could be describing the brother and Daesu how both of them you know one of them was wealthy one of them was just seemed to be like a regular working guy and they maybe have came from different backgrounds and had different experiences but at the end of the day they both wanted to seek vengeance and that's what ultimately sunk them uh, I don't know if I'm reading too much into that, but I thought that was kind of what they were alluding to. Um, there was definitely some very cool fight sequences that seemed to all be done within one frame, within one shot. Very cool when he's in that hallway and there's just all these people coming at him and that seemed like such a... It was a long shot too, like I think like, I don't know the exact time, but I think like four or five minutes, it was quite long without any cuts and without uh, everybody having to remember what they have to do in the right sequence, especially fight sequences, you know, it's kind of like a dance. Everybody has to be in the right spot at the right time, um, but really well done. And it felt more realistic in my opinion because they took some breaks at some point. He like puts his hands on his knees and kind of bends over and is trying to catch his breath. And it definitely felt like a realistic fight sequence and Daesu had been practicing in his room for the past 10 years basically of how to seek this vengeance. I definitely noticed some comparisons between the start of the film and the end of the film um, when Daesu was released out into the world 
he sees this guy on top of the roof that he's on and at first I was thinking maybe this person is connected with the organization that had kidnapped him it turns out it was just somebody who was up there uh, unfortunately trying to commit suicide which again seemed to be a theme throughout the film um, and then he questions him and they have this shot of him holding his tie over the building and then that kind of mirrors the shot we see at the end with um, the brother and sister at the dam where she ultimately drowns and falls to her death but he's holding her out and saying like hey come back I want to try and save you I think those are very interesting um, parallels and also with the um, the location how we see Desu stuck in this one room you know for 15 years uh, and just this very tight enclosed space makes you feel very like claustrophobic and isolated and at one point he's like reaching out to the TV to try and touch somebody and uh, then with the ending with him and his lady friend and they're in this huge vast white field and you know white frequently symbolizes like cleansing and a fresh start and this huge empty this vast space so now he's got all the space in the world um, and I really liked that part where it was like, okay, he's confronting the monster within and then he kind of mentally sends that part of him to walk away from himself and then that part eventually dies as it ages a year every step it takes. Um, so then it's just Desu that's left and the monster version of himself that he called it um, has left. So lots of things to discuss. I'm really looking forward to doing some research about this one and finding out all the things that I either missed or hidden Easter eggs or all these little clues that were there the whole time. Um, like I said, I don't think it was a stereotypical horror movie. It was more about dealing with somebody's personal demons and struggling to figure out who he wronged and then this vengeance story. Um, but I overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought the pacing was good um, and I thought it was really well done in such a interesting twist there were so many twists and as soon as I thought I had figured out oh there was another twist and then actually the sister committed suicide and it wasn't the brother that killed her like it kept you guessing until the end I think two of the scenes for me that stick out the most are the scene where he's eating that live octopus that was I just I don't even know how to process that like it with the animal is alive and trying to claw its way back out of his mouth and he's just taking these big bites of this octopus and I don't know how many takes that was how many octopuses they had to go through but that would have been very intense I think to film and to watch somebody do that and just I don't know how it was received I don't know in their Asian culture what that symbolizes or what that means but uh, I feel like for me to watch that that was it was a lot to watch that happen um, and that was his like first meal outside of his being imprisoned and it was just yeah I, I it was hard to, I can't even talk it was hard to watch and then I think the other scene when he uh, cuts his own tongue off in order to save um, his lady friend and to basically seal his own fate and to make sure that she'll be okay even though there doesn't seem to be real guarantee that she'll be okay um, this brother character was definitely had some tricks up his sleeve and I didn't think that he would even in, you know keep this promise so he cuts off his tongue and it's just it's so you I, I could just feel it and it was just so intense and I imagine to do that in real life would be very difficult um, so it was just and it ties in obviously to the fact that he was in prison for talking too much he's like okay well you think I talk too much I'm gonna cut off my tongue and then we won't have to worry about me talking too much because now I can't talk at all so oh my gosh and it just shows like he switched from like revenge mode he could have just killed this guy and that would have been that and walked out of there with his tongue intact but then who knows what would have happened to her so his priorities switched from his personal vengeance to okay I care about this person I want to save this person I'm going to sacrifice something so to ensure that they're safe and I think that was a really big moment for him as a character um, and I don't know if he would have been that type of person before he was imprisoned maybe it made him a little bit more compassionate um, and made him realize or appreciate things a little bit more and then at the end when the brother decides to take his own life because his whole life had been dedicated to seeking vengeance for his sister and now he had that so what what does he have to live for basically um, which is sad that he 
chose to seek this path in the first place, but that he also decided to end his own life. I'm curious to know if he ever tries to reconnect with his daughter. Um, he said he was going to go visit his wife's grave after this vengeance thing was over. I don't know if he actually, they didn't show it in the film. I don't know if he does. I don't know if there's a sequel or anything. Um, I don't know if there, is there a remake? Like this came out, I feel like it wasn't that long ago, but sometimes they make remakes of foreign films into American films. Um, so so comment below and let me know. And another scene that really stuck out that was hard for me to watch was the teeth pulling scene. That was just that and, and like when people pull out fingernails and stuff in horror movies are I, it's really hard for me to watch that. That's so painful and how he pulled out one tooth for every year that he was in there so he pulled out 15 of the guy's teeth. Um, but yeah just a lot of torture, a lot of like cringy moments because they were just so painful to watch and just Oh uh, yeah, vengeance is obviously a very messy game as this movie clearly shows and just he felt like he was owed this time and that he didn't know what he did and was just trying to figure it out and it was interesting to watch him unravel this puzzle and find all the pieces. Overall I thought it was a really great film. Um, there's definitely lots to think about here and I'll probably be thinking about it for a little while and trying to process all the different pieces and all the different elements to this film. It was really well done. Um, comment below and let me know is the director or writer done uh, similar movies? Is horror usually a genre that they're familiar with or that they produce content for? Um, have they done any other movies that you think I should watch? Comment below and let me know but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. Like I said, if you have any other suggestions for horror movies, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. He just bit a head off a live octopus! <laughs> if they told me it had been 15 years? No. They like dumped him in a suitcase? He's stabbing him with a broken CD. Yeah, it's not why did he imprison me, it's why did he release me.